Hi, I'm Jim Boney with Stout Tanks. Um, today we're going to talk about the malt mills I built. So I started out as a machinist in the Bay Area in, in the Silicon Valley. I learned my trade there. And I moved on to not just making parts, but actually building and designing machines. Well, I think my mills are different because for one thing, they get a good, really good quality out of the grist, and they're not as expensive as the other mills out there. And that's where I started doing these mills for was for you know startups. A brewery just starting out. A little bit of money is a lot of money to them. I don't know, I was always a skinny little runner. They just started calling me Jim Boney. Took off as a, a nickname and I just thought when I just made the company, I'd just stick with that name because everybody knew it. It's kind of an odd name, but <laughs> we like it. Uh, I was introduced to Stoughton, I think it was like 2012, and I've been building mills for John Stout Tanks ever since, you know, the, uh, you know, micromanage me, and I really appreciate that, um, and in return, you know, I give them a good day's work, works really well. You know, all the people down there at Stout Tanks have, have really been helpful. The, the biggest help I have is with support team, Rich and Jesse, they've been a, a lot of help. Well, I don't run anymore. I ran um, from the time I was 30 till I was about 40. I didn't really like the marathon on the pavement, so I moved to ultra marathons, which are they're a little slower, but um, they're a lot longer. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the solitude and the training. You'd be out there by yourself in the middle of nowhere, and most of the people that walk around on this planet could never go there in the time I went. You know, I could get it all, see it all in a day. Uh, give you a lot of time to think. <laughs> I hand make these mills so I can guarantee the quality. Uh, makes me sleep better at night. <laughs> knowing that uh, my mills are going to be okay. I want to make sure that every machine that I send out is going to work properly. It's not something that's going through an assembly line. If I see a part that I don't like, um, I'll toss it and make a new one. 